Hello YouTube, this is the Mount Pleasant Sorting Office. This is the new Postal Museum. I'm David Frankel and today we are going on Mail Rail. Mail Rail, or the Post Office Railway as it was initially known, first opened in 1927. It was one of four underground postal railways, along with similar systems in Munich, Zurich and Chicago. It was actually the second underground postal system in London after the Pneumatic Railway, which ran from 1863 to 1874, linking the North District Post Office to the now long-closed General Post Office via Euston Station. The Post Office Railway ran from Paddington to the main post office at Mount Pleasant near Farringdon, then on to Liverpool Street Station and then to the Eastern Sorting Office in Whitechapel, carrying posts under the streets of London between sorting offices and major railway stations, where post would often continue its journey along the railways. Shockingly enough, it actually ran all the way up to 2003, by which time transferring post by rail was reported as being five times more expensive than by road, though this figure is heavily disputed. The rise of the internet and emails certainly contributed to its demise, though the recent rise of package posting from online shopping has stoked some calls to reopen the line. In 2017, a new postal museum was opened at the Mount Pleasant Sorting Office. Along with the museum, a short section of the track forming a loop around Mount Pleasant was refurbished and opened to the public as an attraction, with two new battery electric trains taking sightseers through the loop. So just down the stairs from the entrance hall and you are immediately down here. It's a bit shallower than I was expecting. Um, we've got about 10 minutes before our train is due, so let's, we can have a look at the little exhibit around here as well, in the old tunnels. Obviously, as you know, the, um, this is only a, there's only a very small section of the original mail rail that you can actually ride on. Uh, there are some also some old entrances in Paddington that you can see. Um, Cozy, isn't it, Mum? Yeah. Bit of a squeeze. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mail Rail. I please ask you to try your best not to lean on the doors, as it will stop the train moving. Thank you. Enjoy the ride. As you make a letter. Hello, and welcome to Mail Rail. You're about to explore some of London's hidden underground postal railway. I'm Andy, your guide today, and I'm joined by Ray Middlesworth. Hi, Ray. Hi. I worked here as an engineer for 27 years. This ride is probably not for you. Did you spot some sandbags just then? Ray, could you tell us about that? The sandbags on the line. That's called the sand lane. There's a pile of sand on the track designed to stop runaway trains. If they run down that hill, you just can't help them. You have to catch them. The platform you're about to see looks much as it did on the day it shut down in 2003. 
Uh, Ray, can you describe it for us? When Malrail was running, this platform would be a hive of activity. You'd see people playing darts between the trains arriving, guys conversing back and forth and wheeling work up and down. It was a noisy and lively place to work. Ray's going to tell you more about life working on the railway as we take a trip down memory lane through the many decades of mail rail. to Liverpool Street Station, where mail was transferred to the main railway network. Further down that tunnel, it looks like a maintenance crew is checking the flood barriers. This side's good. What's that like? Big heavy steel doors that close it off. During the railway's construction, ten men scrambled to safety when the nearby river fleet broke into where they were digging. The barriers here were installed later, after the war, but they never had to be used. Uh, Ray, there's something else here that people might be interested in. Can you tell us about that? When we move off just up ahead, look down towards the track. You might catch a glimpse of the train graveyard where disused trains are stored. I must have walked on them at some time. London's hidden postal railway. It was unique, and I love being part of the great team keeping the railway running. We hope you'll enjoy exploring the rest of the exhibition just as much. Goodbye. Goodbye. For those who are claustrophobic or unable to uh, access the trains, there is this accessible thing which essentially recreates the ride, which I think was quite a nice addition. Make it make the experience accessible to everybody. And there's also this exhibition, which I went through before. There's also an ent entire postal museum as well, opposite, which I think we should have a quick look at whilst we're here. So that was Mail Rail, short but sweet. Um, in fairness, the section of track that is open to the public is quite small, um, which explains why they've decided to kind of do the, the whole cinematic thing to kind of make the ride a bit longer. So as a kind of way to try and stretch it out. Because otherwise people won't think they'll get, they've got their money's worth. But honestly, it's a very interesting experience, I think. You know, very educational about the postal system and how it all worked, and now the demand for it has recently dipped because of the internet and so on. Although with online shopping and its revival in sending parcels in the post, perhaps there could be a use for it. Or maybe they should open the whole thing to be a public attraction and have allowed you to actually ride from Paddington to Liverpool Street. That would be nice. Also one small improvement that they probably should make is to make the audio a bit louder because the trains are very noisy so there were parts where you couldn't actually hear the narration. But other than that, a kind of small thing, I would say it was overall a very good experience. There's also an actual postal museum, which we're going to pop into quickly.
So that was Mail Rail and the Postal Museum. Um, could use for a couple of hours. I would recommend going. Whether you're interested in mail, logistics, railways or anything like that, I think you will find it interesting. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.